they said it, them. I call it blind mouth, me good. Oh, there's one, uh, there's good, oh, uh, there's none good but one. That is your mouth. But if thou shalt enter into life, keep the commandments. That's what he told this young man. He didn't say, oh, uh, go over there, go over there. He said, keep the commandments, brother. That's what we tell people. Repent and believe in what? The gospel. Mark chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. Romans 12 and 2. Be conformed in your mind. Back to what? St. John's 15, 10. Let's go there. Back to the Lord's love. What is the Lord's love? Back to uh, St. John's chapter 15, verse 10. This is what the Bible says about that. And it's sure what he said. Not what man says. If you, if you keep my what? If you keep my Baptist church? No. No, Islam. No, uh, Buddha. No, he didn't say that. No, American Constitution. <laughs> if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Don't they always talk about love in the church? You so-called churches? God is all love. God is love, brother. He's love. What's love, brother? Tell me what love is. See, you gotta love everything. You gotta love. Don't worry about faggots and lesbians. God loves everybody. The United States government, God, God loves everybody. All this stuff happening all around the world is evil, and these niggas still talking about God loves everything. Mm. What kind of fool is that? The dumb dogs. Seminary school teachings, pamphlets, not scriptures. See? <laughs> what do you say? St. Charles, what? St. John's 15, 10. What do you say? If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my father's commandment and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, people, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Show died for us. Not Martin Luther King. Not Malcolm X. Not all these false prophets out here. Not George Floyd. They got a big, big old, big head statue of him and Martin Luther King down and Negroes got to go down there and look up to that thing. That's adultery. Spiritual adultery. And idolization. A derelict you're going to pay homage to and a drug addict and a woman, woman, white woman, womanizer got killed on the street and y'all go over there and you pay respect to that garbage. The Lord tell you the Bible about vagabond Jews, don't he? We got vagabond Jews amongst us. Some of our brothers are vagabonds and degenerates. But when a righteous brother died, who? What? What's his name? You never hear about him. Or sister. But when a bum dies in the street, oh, we got a big makeup. And you know who's doing that? Them damn liberal white so so-called whites. Black Lives Matter is ran by so-called whites. Oh, uh, the nation of Islam. And all these so-called Christian, so-called churches is ran by Esau. All of them. He talking about return to holiness. His emblems and ensigns is that of white so-called false Christians that came here to America and established these churches. The first one they had down there was in Virginia. I went down there and saw it. The, the building was torn down and they had relics and they had a whole camp set up down there uh, of the fort they had there. But they invaded America. And they're keeping this history alive while we run around here bowing down the symbols of uh, masonry and so-called churches returning to holiness, totem poles. Around by the Shinnecock Indian Reservation, they got this pole 
goes over there. And they're talking about, we want everybody. We, y'all, 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 that's why I went out there and shook the dust on y'all. Because y'all didn't want to accept the truth. You said, we want, we, we take brown, red, yellow. I said, really? Do you accept this? Did it? So I had to shake the dust on the Shedekites. They didn't want the Irish, the Irish child. They, they, the Lord said, they ain't going to want you. So I picked up my Bible and said, turn the time you, I had to go. And to leave them alone. Because they into the rainbow. They into the whoredoms. And they got everybody. I went out there on the reservation. I seen Indian women running with white men. I seen drugs out there. AIDS. Selling drugs and, and, and on, I said, what is this? Man? I said, you, you claiming to be righteous, man. You, you wicked. He said, well, tell us about this is what we do out here. I said, you American so-called colonial Indians. Y'all celebrating Christmas. Selling Christmas cards in a reservation store. Crab, lobster. They ain't keeping the commandments no more. Dad. I went out there and met him. And that's the tribe of Israel the Lord told us to go to and preach this gospel to. Matthew 10, 5 and 6. The kingdom is for Israel. But Israel don't want it, do they? They don't want it. See what it says here? St. John's chapter 15. He said, if you, if you love me, keep the commandments. You have to keep the commandments. So we were... Um, Biden and his love. So let's go to St. John's uh, Second Spirit of John. Verse 6. What's love, people? Second Spirit of John. These brothers broke these records and left them here. Second Spirit of John, verse 6 says this. This is what it says in the gospel. And this is love. We spoke, yeah, I wish I spoke about love, right? That we walk in his commandments. There go again. This is the commandment that ye have heard from the beginning. That ye shall walk in it. What did the Lord give us in the beginning? Psalm 78 verse 5. Did the Lord give us this? I'm going to say this again. Did he give us all of this that you see? No. You don't gave this to us? Man. Whitey, Esau, Edom. They gave us this. And the Arabs and all the other nations. Kwanzaa came from uh, Africa. And all of that. I got to put that on there too. Voodoo came from, from the Hamites. So all that we have today that we call the Creator is wrong. On the reservation, they are off. About the great spirit. I said, yeah, what great spirit are you talking about? Where the commandments, brother? Well, we, we believe in nature. That, uh, that goes into the paternity cults and starts. See, I, I already know. I'm, I'm learned. And that's what they're into out there. They worship women, gods, the mother of the earth, mother earth. Where do you think that come from? That's the starts. And this will went into that after the death of Solomon and the kingdom was split up. He taught our people that and they went into Babylonism. The kingdom was destroyed, split up. Ten tribes came up and they brought that garbage over here. And they still dealing with it today. And that's why the Most High said only a remnant coming up out of here. A remnant of the people. See? So let's go into the scriptures. And show you. Psalm 78, verse 5. What did the Lord give us in the beginning? When we came up out of Egypt and Moses stood up there and went up on a mountain, what did he bring down? Psalm 78, 5, I tell you. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. You hear that? Which he commanded our fathers that we should make them known to their children. Do the children of Israel today know the commandments and the faith of Mahashan right, right now? No, they don't. When you talk about Jesus, the first thing coming to your mind 
is this guy right here. Made up by these men. Pope Nicholas, Pope Julius II, the Medici family, the Beast, the Secret Societies, the Cross, the Horse Catholic Church, and the thousands and thousands of misled brothers and sisters in denominations. All right, and a TV evangelist on TV telling you to go to church on Sunday again, going into what? Captivity. And Caesar Borgia is stealing our people's heart. This murder. And y'all don't know what you're dealing with. And when we come to you and show you what? That the generation to come might know them. <laughs> then we come to y'all give it to you free. A lot of y'all don't even want it. That's why I salute you brothers and sisters that come and get it. See? And what it says here? Even the children which should be born. Why do you think these young men and young sisters is going with Esau? They go to college and universities and they come out of there, they look just like white folks. They talk like white folks. They in all these colleges and universities. You know why? Tell you in the book of Maccabees. What do they love more? Do they love the laws or do they love the Greeks and the Roman fashions? They love the Greek and Roman fashions. I'm going to read it to you. This is what the Lord said in the book of Maccabees. They don't want the most high. They want this. Second Maccabees chapter 4. Verse 15. It is written. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. What the Lord gave us. He established a what? In Israel and Jacob. And gave us a what? A law. Right? But lacking the glory of the Grecians best of all. Colonial Negroes. This is the glory of the Grecians. You know what the glory of the Grecians is? This garbage. Caesar Borgia, the Illuminati, witchcraft, sorcery, false images, crosses, the Catholic Church, which is going to be burned to hell very soon. And this is what y'all follow. And I tell my family members, uncles, cousins, whoever come around me, don't say it tomorrow, it's going to be destroyed if you follow this. It's a mark of the beast. The beast. That big of crazy. I don't care if you can't be crazy. They, they, they did the same thing to the other prophets. The other prophets in the Bible suffered. And they cast them to the, to, to the curb. But the Lord lifted me up. I don't need y'all to lift me up. I'm going to lift you up with the truth. If you accept it, the Lord will lift you up. But if you if reject it, you will be burned in, in, in judgment day. And the fire is coming. This kingdom is going down. The handwriting, like we said last week, is on the wall. Babylon the Great is falling, is falling. And it's going to fall. And this is the, 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 the uh, Grecians. You love the Grecians' food. You eat pork, shrimp, lots of crab. Y'all marry into these nations. And you break the Lord's covenant, commandment every day. And you love it. And you ain't trying to come out of it. Or even trying to find out what the most high wants you to get, get with. This is Greek fashion. Women going to bed with women. Mm. Negro going to bed with a Chinese woman. Mm. Here you go, sister. Mm. Whatever you've done for me lately, going to bed with an Arab. It's still kicked her butt all over the house. Mm. And threw her out. And now she got a bastard child from him. Mm. And she got $75 million in child support. What a whore. Mm. Whore. The Lord said, if you go outside of your nation and bring forth hands by another, you're a whore, Janet Jackson. This is what you're supposed to marry, right here. You see this sister right here? Beautiful. Beautiful. Israelite sister and a handsome brother. That makes a what? That makes Jacob. That's what you bring forth in the earth. These things that you let here go down here. Another Greek fashion. A Negro with a white man. Mm. Thanks. Mm. We ain't gonna call it no damn uh, uh, alternate life. That's a damn thing. That's right. And you going to bed married, and, and now they gave you the law, you can marry 
two men. May you drop dead in the AIDS clinic from AIDS. You're an abomination. You're tootie fruity niggas going up in your damn booty. You should be a damn shame of yourself, brother. Big linebacker, strong Negroes can make some children for the nation, and he's screwing a white man. And you brothers is messed up too. Y'all married here, here go up here. The, the Negro, he got a new woman now. He going to bed with Miss Ann. Jay, that's what they push it on. You ever see all them commercials? They show you a black man and a black a white woman. They don't never show you this. They they pushing this, 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 and this, and this. Cause you know what? The evils is out here. Like it says in Revelation 18, evil spirits in the whole of every hateful earth. It's right here. And they love the Greek fashion. Did you see that? Not setting them to the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. Written right here. We call y'all colonial Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans. That's what you are now. And you don't know the most half. And we're going to show you that tonight because you don't know the commandments. That's what he gave us, didn't he? See? So he said in Psalm 78, verse 6, The generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. What is your job, uh, Israelite man? You're supposed to direct your family, your kids, and the law of the Most High. And the faith of his son. Why do you think the black families ain't together? Because they ain't got the order of, your, of the Most High. What's the order of the Most High? Here you go right here. Let's go to Corinthians. Put this in your life and you'll have a better life. Put these commandments to work and you won't be a jerk. Put Satan in your life, then you're going to have Satan ways and destruction amongst your family ranks. The Most High said, set your home in order. The black Puerto Rican, Haitian, Dominican homes is an abomination. That's why y'all look stupid on TV on the Jerry Springer show and all the rest of Maury Poggi don't know who your daddy's baby is. Land with the damn white man. Land with Tom, Dick, and Harry. Bringing out bastards. The Lord tell you to apocryphal for about a whole bunch of ungodly children and when they grow up, they're going to be shooting up kids and they're going to jail. Just like they fathers. Why? Huh. Be you followers of me, even as I am of Shah. For I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances I delivered them unto you. So when we come to you, we bring you the law and the testimony. Set it in order. Set your life in order with this. You'll be blessed. But I would have you know that the head of the man is who? Is Christ. Who's our shepherd? Matthew, uh, 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 what it said, uh, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me through the valley of death. Fear no evil. That's what we follow. The shark. The maha shark. And the head of the woman is the what? The man. I'm a man. I'm in charge of my house. Not the government. Not the welfare. Not the school system. And not Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And not none of these foolish, ignorant things that you see out here. I wonder who the head of their house is. Is it him? Or is it her? Wait a minute. Who's the head of their house? Two women, locking lips. Nasty. AIDS. Is this the Lord's order? Hell no. This is man's order. He kicked up behind out the street, called her a nigga and everything. And you got the nerve to take this baby under your wing? Shame. Come off. That's why these nations do this to us, because we ain't got no knowledge. And a black woman always going overseas looking for a man. 
on his series TV. I'm trying to find a man. I saw a series where a sister went over there to one of them Arabian countries. They ran out of time. She coming over there with a bottle of liquor, damn horse clothes. The guy said, man, 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 man. Don't go mad. Not in Islam. We don't allow that. The family said, if you mad at that nigga, we're going to kill you. And they ran her back to the States. Shame, Israel. You walking around like that. The brothers and the sisters. Come on. See that? So he said, what? And the head of the woman is a man. No, no, equality. The Lord didn't make no woman and man equal. He said the woman is a weaker vessel. Why equal with my woman? My wife. It can't be. I'm a man. We agree. Deal with her with wisdom, but we ain't equal. There's no equality. See, y'all dealing with that democracy and the mark of the beast. That's why you brothers out there catching hell with your woman. See? And the head of Christ is your most high. See? So the head of, the, of Yahweh Shah is the most high. So if we follow Yahweh Shah, we follow Yahweh. That's the order, people. Y'all see it? It's right here. That's if you put this in your life, your life will be better. Okay? Because we got a lot of foolish people.